Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I've got a license plate holder for my uh, Polaris Ranger uh, 1000 XP. So um, I think most places now um, if you can register your ATV, UTVs, uh, they require uh, some sort of a a license plate it's not really a license plate it's just I think it's just got to be white uh, with letters that are so big or something like that so I actually went online and got myself a, 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 a license plate that kind of mimics uh, a, a license plate on a vehicle so it's got my numbers on it and it's I'm in Wisconsin so it's got my um, Wisconsin deal on there. It says UTV as well. You can get that online. I think for any state or whatever, any place that, like I said, makes you register uh, your ATVs, UTVs. But anyway, um, where are you going to put them? Where are you going to put that license plate? I've been struggling uh, finding a spot to to put a license plate on the back of my Ranger. Um, I was sticking it uh, in the window on inside the the seal there um, then I put my my flag decal on there now you really can't see it very good so I gotta find a different place for it so Kemimoto actually sent me a couple of their license plate holders so we got a smaller one here and you can see it's got an LED light to light it up now legally uh, here in Wisconsin we don't have to light it up but they, these Kemimoto um, holders, they come with lights. So they come with, a, with little plug-ins here. They come with uh, wire taps and bolts and instructions. But this is a smaller one they sent me. There's a little bit of a larger one here. And this one's got kind of slots in it. And what them are for is um, you, can, you can bolt it flat to something, uh, but it comes with these um, worm clamps you know for for uh, basically like hose clamps and it comes with them and you can actually use this to uh, like clamp onto a bar see there's a bar there you could actually clamp that um, onto the bar I could clamp that onto the back of that bar so Quite a few options uh, with these with these plate holders. So I think I'm going to use this smaller one. My plate fits up on there like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bolt this to anything. I'm actually going to get uh, some magnets. So let me find those and we'll put something together. Okay, so I got my license plate here and my holder, and I actually picked up some of these uh, magnets. And these are super strong little magnets. I'll link everything I used in this video. But anyway, I'm going to stick them. Uh, I'm going to stick two of them back here, like so. I'm going to put my license plate on here like this. We'll put a uh, washer and a nut. Then I'll do this one here. I'll get it nice and centered uh, before I tighten it down here. Kind of like that. I got to tighten it down. But anyway, what that gives me is uh, two really strong magnets to stick this thing to any kind of uh, steel that I have back here. And actually, I'm going to my light rack. I'll show you in a second. 
Um, I am not going to hook up my light. Like I said, legally, we don't have to do that. Uh, plus, I'm going to probably take it on and off. Okay, guys, so I got my plate all finished up. I actually took the light off. Again, here in Wisconsin, you don't legally have to have um, a, a light on your plate. But anyway, I got my magnets on there. So basically, anywhere I have metal, um, if I want to throw it on my my bumper, I can throw it on my bumper here. Um, oh, and those magnets, I it'll stay on there. Those magnets are super strong. But I think where I'm going, I think I'm going to go up here. I think that's where I'm going with it. It's out of the way. Kind of messes up the messes up the look of my rack there, but it is what it is. I legally have to have a a plate. But up there, actually, I, I could have plugged into my lights there. But like I said, legally, I don't have to do that. So um, yeah, that's probably where it's going. Uh, it's going to go right there for now um, until, I, until I figure out exactly what's happening back here. Um, I'm not going to hook up a light. Uh, once I figure out, you know, this is, this is the setup that I'm going with for a really long time, um, I might hook a light up to that plate just, uh, just because it came with one. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, guys. Um, hopefully that'll give you some ideas how to get your uh, plate uh, installed on your UTV, ATV, whatever you got. Um, Kemimoto's got, like I said, two different designs. Should, should be uh, one of those should work uh, for your application. But I use magnets uh, for mine. Um, you can drill holes, you can use the clamps, whatever you want to do. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you.